Ellen. Nice, Ellen. We camped in near Mount St. Helens. Yes. In Washington State recently. Yes. You know what I like about camping in the Pacific Northwest? The campsites. <laughs> yeah. The beautiful campsites. It's so stunningly beautiful. Ferns and big trees and really tons and tons of camping areas. Lots of outdoors. Right. Particularly when it's hot. If it's a hot day out, you get into these campsites and the big trees, you're in the shade. Yeah. So it's nice and cool. So even if it's 90 out, you have a nice, you know, cooler uh, campsite to relax in. They all have fire pits. Mm -hmm. um, very well maintained. This was specifically Sequest off right. of Highway 5 in Castle Rock. Yeah. That was, Castle Rock is kind of a small town. We didn't find a lot to, to see and do there. We ate at the Mexican restaurant. It was quite good. I don't remember the name of it, but... So. It wasn't California Mexican, though. No, it wasn't. It was, uh, You're never going to get that. <laughs> <laughs> it was alright. Yeah. The Sequest campground is located immediately across the street from the visitor center? Yes. The first visitor center you come to. Yeah, there's your... actually three of them. Mm -hmm. So the first one, uh, it's, it's good visitor center, definitely worth a stop. Um, yeah, walk through, it gives you all the history. May 20th, 1980, the eruption occurred, they have a little um, film you can watch, which was really cool. Mm. You saw the film and what happens after and all that, and then when the film ends, the screen opens up and you're looking out at That's the, at the Johnson crater. That's at Johnson Ridge or whatever observatory oh, right. was up at the top. Yeah, sorry, wrong one. But it's okay. Yeah. The other visitor center was just fine. I don't remember what we did there. Get a map. Yeah. <laughs> get a map, get some advice from the rangers. Sure. They have a camera there so you can see what the view is like from the Johnson Ridge Observatory mm. because um, you know, there was a lot of fires going on at the time. So one day uh, it was fairly clear except for there was a cloud up near the um, cone. Crater? Sure, crater, cone. Yeah. I think. Yeah, and then the next day it was, it was windy and uh, a lot more dust and fire smoke in the air. So, but still, uh, we hiked out to Harry's Ridge? Yeah. Yeah. So it's about a four mile hike out to Harry's Ridge. And four miles back. Right, and four miles back. Yeah, the four miles out is pretty <laughs> easy. So, I mean, there is a nice steep up the back to get to the top, but then you're looking over at Spirit Lake yeah. and the thousands of trees mm -hmm. still laying in the lake. Um, you know, since 1980, they were just blown over and, and oh, the, so, yeah. so um, that's... And there they sit. Yeah. So they will decompose eventually. I mean, 30 years later. Yeah. Plus, so. almost nearly 40 years. Yeah. So. Mount St. Helens is a volcano in, in Washington that blew <laughs> right. up in case you're not familiar. Yes. And they've turned it into a national monument now, that whole region. It's substantial. It's big. It's yes. a big area. We, that, we did that great hike there. We did another little couple mile hike through the woods. On the uh, Coldwater Lake, which was one of the new lakes created after the 1980 eruption. Right. There was also Castle Lake. Uh, I don't think you can hike to Castle Lake. I think now we came from the north side, looking into the crater because um, it's kind of a big horseshoe. So you can come from the south side and actually hike up to the rim. It's a five-mile, very strenuous hike, um, but you can get up to the crater. So that's something I would like to do at some point. Right. We didn't do that. I'm not sure that I have a big interest in that. Yeah. It's it's. You'd have to prepare for that. Right. It sounds pretty strenuous. And then there's a second place on the other side of Spirit Lake that you can hike or drive. You know, you drive part of it, hike part of it, with views into the crater. Mm -hmm. but, um, it's really interesting. It is. I, you know, I think what's interesting is that the scientists who've been watching the reforestation didn't expect things to go the way that they had. And they're really getting an opportunity to see how does that all unfold. Right. In this kind of region, I guess it's maybe it's different everywhere, but how sure, quickly yeah. it happens or how things things go. Yeah, pretty. They did a big tree plant. Oh right, You're, we're we're driving. Oh, first of all, from Sequest Campground to Johnson Ridge Observatory, which is um, the end of the road. End of the road. Yeah, and it's not observatory like looking at stars. It's just they're observing the crater. Right. <laughs> I was expecting a dome. It wasn't there. Um, but 
there's uh, it's it's about an hour drive, so it's not insignificant. Um, although you know it's a nice drive, but you're driving mm -hmm. and you're coming and you're looking at the side of this hill and it looks pixelated. You're like, well, what? You know, and it's just the the Douglas fir. Is that what it was? I think so. Douglas fir trees. There's just you know thousands of them because they replanted, and it just it was really really cool to see that. And, right. You know, we stopped and took some pictures of it. You'll see. So them. yeah, the I think what happened is because they all grow at a uniform rate, and there it's a monoculture. It's just these one type of trees. Right. So you get this really odd visual effect. Yeah. At first we were driving, I was like, man, is that is there something wrong with my eyes? Am I seeing something <laughs> weird? Because it seems really, does that seem blurry to you? Yeah. And you were like, yeah, it does. So it wasn't us. Yes. It's the trees. Yeah. If they had other kinds of trees in there, even a different kind of evergreen, it would break that up and right. you wouldn't get that yeah. very strange result from the aliens landing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. So, And then we hiked a bit of Coldwater Lake, which yep. is the... Um, you can hike around it, but I think it's a seven mile hike around. We only uh -huh. walked up, you know, probably a mile and a half to get a nice view and you could see where it was blocked up. So that was really nice. Johnson Observatory, the road there is, I think, closed in the winter and there's another observatory that you can get to, but it's only open in the winter. Right, so that's the third one that uh, you can't get to in the summer, so mm -hmm. you'd have to hit them at different times of the year. Right. I thought it was really fun. I know you want to go back because you want to do that other hike, but you'd have to camp somewhere else on the other side, I guess. Yeah, you'd, you'd camp. Well, it's not that far from us. You know, if you get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, you're there by 6.30. Right, we're hiking. only a couple hours. From right, so, so yes, yeah, so you'd have to camp somewhere else for sure. That's because mm -hmm. that's a southern hike instead of a northern hike. Because uh -huh. you're not looking into the rim, you're going out to the top, and then you can look down in it. You can't go down into it. There's a like a horseshoe shaped glacier and another cone that a couple years later kind of rose up and had a small eruption, but nothing like the big one that happened. Right. So, um, I mean, it's still an active volcano. Right. You know, it's like Mount Hood, <laughs> Mount Rainier. They're active volcanoes. Yeah. So, um, it's not like they're, you know, going to come to life tomorrow, but they certainly could. Right. But, the, you know, Mount St. Helen gave a lot of warning, but you can't. No one can say, oh, what's going to happen next Thursday? You know, it's like, oh, you know, there's a lot of earthquakes, the mountain's bulging, so we know something's going on here. No one knows. It could have lasted another year or, you know, but so none of the other mountains are showing signs of uh, erupting. So, so uh, yeah, <laughs> as far as wildlife goes, we saw some elk. And that oh, was yeah. pretty cool. We heard of elk and we saw some chipmunks. Some yeah, chipmunk squirrels. squirrels. You always see that. I don't remember seeing any interesting birds or anything of that nature, but I guess there's quite a few bears and mountain lions in that region anyway. Yeah. So they probably stay away from the main trails. I mean, most of the animals don't want to uh, run mm -hmm. across you any more than you want to run across them. Yeah. So uh, bears, I'm not afraid of. I've they've walked right by me and they haven't given thought to me, but I've never seen a mountain lion, and uh, that that would be different. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if a mountain lion would bother somebody. You're quite tall. I think it's like the you ladies just, my size that, and, and small kids that get it. Right, yeah. I mean, a, little, <laughs> a little more prey. I still, you know, no one wants to run into them. Most of the time they'll run away. So yeah, it's the only sense. weird occasions that uh, right. the animals would want to bother you at all. So. I agree. Okay, was, so you would go back. Yes, definitely. I want to, because, you know, on the... Um, Southern side, there's uh, there's some caves, lava tubes, definitely worth seeing. I know Sally's not a big cave person. I love them. <laughs> so I would definitely go back for a day just to walk in Ape Cave, and then there's mm. a, a Lava Canyon. Ape uh, Cave where Bigfoot lived. Yes, apparently. So so there's there's a lot to see. I mean, um, if you've ever been to Northern California, uh, Lava Beds National Monument has miles of lava tubes to walk through and crawl through in places. So. Um, I don't know what it's like at Lassen, but I know there's some, so I want to go back and see that. And I do want to hike to the summit, look down mm -hmm. in and, mm -hmm. and see it. So. We'll see how I do. I would, I would go back just for the campgrounds. The campgrounds are so spectacular. Any of the campgrounds that we've been in so far in the Pacific Northwest, are, they're so beautiful. Yeah, And quiet nice. and dark at night. Oh, so yeah. great. I would definitely recommend always any national monument because they're always routinely great you can't go wrong yes i would agree 
the national parks and national monuments are really, really worth visiting. Everywhere in the world so far. Yeah, that's true. Not just in the U.S., everywhere <laughs> in the world. So. Well, thanks, Brad. Thanks, Al.